Welcome back to Let's Play Zeo Drifter. This is the exciting conclusion. We are 92% of the way through this game. The only thing we still need to do is beat the game, basically. All we need is the warp core. Which is here on Orange Planet. God, that's a brilliant gun. That gun is a thing of beauty. There's no way that the wave or the spread or whatever could improve upon this gun. Like, let's just look at it. Let's just try it. I mean, it goes without saying that you want to have max damage on the gun, right? I mean, that goes without saying, and you want to get as many bullets out there as possible. Look at the shot speed. Like, why? Why would you want this? Or, or... Really? Really? I'll tell you what we're going to do. What we're going to do is go max spread, max wave. How do you even aim this nonsense? I mean, maybe you want, they want to go, like, uh, if we go with two in each. I guess we can go three. Well, we can't go three in power. Yeah, that's two in each. That's two dots in each one, and then we have to put four in power to get the same effect. This is the most, this is the perfect balanced gun. This is the quote-unquote perfectly balanced gun with all of your stats equalized. And I'm sorry, it's just, no, you don't get as much bang for your buck. You want to get, you want to put the most powerful shots possible on screen, and you want to put as many of them as possible on screen. So speaketh the brick road. We're done here. Let's, let's mosey on through. Hey, buddy, that's, that's my warp core. You bring that back. I've already killed like nine of your children. Wow, I didn't actually take a hit there. Usually I take a hit there. When I start dropping down that hole. Ow. That was bad. That was much better. And is that it? We don't get a refill this time. Oh, we do get a refill. <laughs> oh, it's one of the nicer refills, too. It's not as upsetting to me. All right. This is... Super, super hard version of Baby Dragon Monster. Like, we're just wrecking his life. Like, his life is just melting away. Oh, I was trying to dash there and it didn't happen. My dash did not come out, unfortunately. You know why? Because I pressed the button, but I didn't press forward along with it. You've got to press forward and the button at the same time. Good, your little children up there just popped when I was done with him. Did you eat my warp core and now you... Oh, okay. I thought he was vomiting it up, but apparently exactly the opposite was happening. So I guess now we're inside the dragon monster for the last level of the game. And the last bosses are these, like, fanged worm tentacle horribleness. I think there's an achievement for beating the last boss and getting through this area without taking damage, but... I have yet to beat the last boss without taking damage. Not quite that skilled yet. I guess you gotta use every, every all your power-ups at least once in this area. Except run. I don't think you have to run anywhere in the, uh... In the terrible dragon stomach acid level. Ew, gross. Guys, we're being digested right now. I don't know that I can stand for that. I thought I was going to run a little bit anyway. What? There's an invisible wall here. Oh, I don't know what you're doing to my warp core, but I'm pretty sure it's inappropriate, so I'm going to shoot you. Sorry. Sorry. But 
I can't actually go through this door, though. This door never opens, because as soon as I touch this, it finishes the game. I didn't notice that the first couple times I've completed this, but... That's it. That door over there is a useless door. It doesn't do anything. Oh, well. I can set the controller down now, because a job well done. Zeo Drifter has been completed. Alright, let's get out of here. Set sail for a new galaxy. I kind of half expected to run into another asteroid and then get like a to-be-continued New Game Plus mode or something, but that doesn't happen. A New Game Plus mode would be kind of fun here, I guess. Although I don't know what it would entail, because if you, if you start the game with all your stuff, you can just go straight to the last boss. And I guess there's really no reason to go back and uh, like to play the game from the beginning with all your power-ups, because... The way the game is structured, you kind of already have to explore all the planets, all four planets, with all your power-ups. So you kind of already got the essential experience that a New Game Plus situation could, could give to you. So maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe I don't want a New Game Plus in Zeo Drifter. Maybe what I want is a Zeo Drifter 2. I love the core gameplay of this game. I love that it's just a little tiny, bite-sized morsel of a game you could pick up and kill in like an hour... I haven't watched any speedruns of it. I probably should do that. I should... I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna see if there's been speedruns of this game, because I'll bet there have been, and I'll bet they're fun to watch. And then I'll, I'm gonna stream it later today. I'm gonna just stream Zeo Drifter, whatever. One hour stream, I'll do it. I don't care. I'll play it again. I like it. But something with this same kind of, uh... Design style and same kind of gameplay, but a little more expansive like if there were eight worlds instead of four and you still had that kind of interconnectivity between them. I just I just described uh, Shantae and the Pirates curse. I think it's literally what I just described well no cuz that you had to that game had eight worlds We had to go through them in order you couldn't they were like Mega Man worlds That's why I like this game because it reminds me of when Mega Man used to be good Wow Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed Zeo Drifter. I hope you get on Steam and drop 10 bucks and support these fools who made it because it was a lot of fun. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Just like in general, not like on my videos. Just in general, you should be doing that because it makes your life more fulfilling. Yeah, I'm going to go look at speedruns. That sounds like a lot of fun. This is a very rambling outro. Very, very rambling. 99, wait, 99%. What do you mean 99%? Nine, what? What did I miss? I see what I missed. I see it. Do you see it? Do you see what I missed? Do you see it, guys? Oh, 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 oh Zeo Drifter. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Yeah, buddy. We didn't miss an item. We didn't miss a boss. Nothing like that. Aha! We just missed one dot on the map. One spot on the map we had not visited. I told you guys that was going to burn me alive if we completed the game and I had spots missing on my map. And now we know why. Because if you have spots missing on your map, you don't get 100%. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I had a lot of fun playing this. I want to play more of these little, just little bite-sized uh, games for you. Show some love to the indie scene. I have had so much more enjoyment playing video games the past couple years by playing indie games off Steam rather than the big bucks releases on my... I don't have an X-Bone, but I almost said X-Bone. So, I would love to play some more of these little indie games for you. I have a whole backlog of them that I'm working through right now. Getting them recorded, threading them in with some more of the old classic just Nintendo kind of games. So, give me some feedback. Let me know if you like seeing this kind of stuff. I would love to do more of it. I would love to show my support of the people who make these kind of games. Because I think they're wonderful. And I think you're wonderful too. Shoutouts to Pam Skoegan for sponsoring this video, and to everyone who makes this channel possible by supporting me on Patreon.